Hello, my name is Tanya Manassian, and I am a pediatric neurosurgeon here at Loma Linda University Children's Health. We want to spend some time with you today to discuss how to keep your baby safe, specifically on how to prevent shaken baby syndrome or abusive head trauma. Shaken baby syndrome is a form of child abuse where a baby is forcefully and violently shaken. Unfortunately, up to 3,000 babies suffer from this abuse every single year, and it is the number one cause of death and disability in children less than two years of age. 25% of these babies will die, 80% of them will suffer permanent brain damage. Here in the Inland Empire, the region that Loma Linda University Children's Health Services, we see some of the highest rates of child abuse in the country. A baby's head is large and heavy. A baby's brain is not fully developed and is fragile. Also, it has the consistency of very soft tofu. Babies have weak neck muscles. When a baby is violently shaken, the head moves around a lot, causing the brain to move back and forth inside of the skull vigorously. This can lead to brain damage. Shaking a baby can cause brain damage, which includes tearing of the nerves, tearing of the delicate veins surrounding the brain, bleeding in the brain, bleeding surrounding the brain, swelling in the brain, lack of oxygen to the brain, bleeding behind the eyes, and even spinal injury. Some of the early signs that a baby may have been shaken include difficulty breathing or breathing stops, blue or dusky skin tone, irritability, seizures, vomiting, inability to make sounds, decreased wakefulness, very sleepy, or even comatose. If a baby does not die from their severe injuries, most children will have significant lifelong disability, including cognitive disability, learning disability, behavioral disorders, speech delay, seizures, hearing loss, vision loss, broken bones, paralysis. We do not see these specific types of injuries when a child has an accidental fall. For example, from a changing table. There are very specific signs when a baby has been shaken. Also, oftentimes, there is no surgery that can help fix the kinds of severe brain injuries we see when a baby has been shaken. Oftentimes, this occurs from one moment of frustration typically from the baby crying inconsolably. Be aware of the warning signs of high frustration. One moment of frustration, one shake, can cause devastating injury to your baby. It could even kill your baby. Recognize your frustration, recognize your stress, and take a break. Place your baby in a safe place. Take a time out to help calm yourself. Call someone for emotional support. Never shake a baby. Infants cry a lot in the first few months of life. That is normal. There are safe ways to calm a baby, such as gentle swaddling or rocking. It is okay to put the baby in their crib, a safe place, and walk away. Take a break. It is never okay to shake a baby. One shake can cause death or irreparable harm to your baby. And trust other people who are caring for your baby. You are not alone. If you find yourself in a moment of frustration, call someone, a friend, a family member, or use the resources provided here. And if you think your baby may have been shaken or abused or is demonstrating signs of sleepiness, difficulty breathing, seizures, or other concerning signs, please call 911 immediately. Shaken baby syndrome or abusive head trauma is 100% preventable. Thank you for listening. And remember, your baby's life and livelihood is in your hands.